Hi, and I am Jennifer Summers, and I am a realtor here in the greater Austin metro area. And today I want to tell you about three scams that I see happening in the real estate marketplace. So the first one's on Craigslist, and it's for leasing. So you're wanting to lease a house, rent a house, and you're typing on Craigslist, and you find this fantastic home at a fantastic price, and you drive by, you love it. So you chat with the person on Craigslist, and they say, oh yeah, well, I'm out of town, and you'll need to go ahead and uh, the house is yours, you just have to wire your money to this account or mail a check to this account. So of course you do so in good faith, show up and move all your things in, and lo and behold, the owner says, this house has never been for rent. So be careful of that. If you're looking for a home for rent, I would not look on Craigslist. Interview some realtors, find someone you'd like to work with, and they will help you get into a legitimate rental property. A second scam that I'm seeing in this marketplace is for sale by owners. Not, you know, your for sale so by owner, that is not the scam. The scam is when you're on, when you're looking for property and you're on a for sale by owner site, the home listed might not be an actual for sale by owner. So we're finding some of the folks that are listing those homes don't actually own the home. They just look for it online, list it as a for sale by owner, and they're trying to pull the same scam as the Craigslist scam. They're trying to get you to deposit money for the exchange of that house, which has never belonged to them and never will. Now the third scam is actually the most prominent scam and it is it happens when you're inside a real estate transaction and that's wire fraud. So when you buy a home and you're finished with the transaction, as a buyer, you wire money to the seller. Well, email fraud is rampant and uh, you have to be really, really careful not to, not to submit to it because they're very, very sneaky. They will send you an email that looks very much like the emails that maybe your realtor sent maybe the title company sent, maybe the lender sent. My advice to you is always be the source of the wiring instructions for the title company. So that means you call the title company who you've been working with for the last two or three weeks and you know that person because you've been working with them, but don't accept any emails from your realtor, your lender, or the title company if they are asking you to, to wire money to an account. They will not do that. Anyway, um, if you like this information and you want more real estate tips, go ahead and subscribe below or follow us on Instagram.